the lawsuit that could end the gangster rule of Western civilization November 24, 2011 A lawsuit was filed today, November 23 the United States time, that could end the secret government that has ruled Western civilization for at least the past 300 years. The lawsuit claims that close to $1 trillion was stolen by, among others, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and the UN, former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi and the Italian government, Giancarlo Bruno and the Davos World Economic Forum and others believed to include many of the owners of the, the United States Federal Reserve Board. The lawsuit was filed in New York by Neil Keenan acting as representative of the Dragon family, a reclusive group of wealthy Asian families. This filing is the result of extensive evidence gathering by international police and law enforcement agencies including Interpol, the CIA, the Japanese Security Police, Eastern European Secret Services and has the backing of the Pentagon as well as the armed forces of Russia and China the ultimate defendants in this legal action are believed to be the same cabal behind the assassination of the United States President John F. Kennedy and many other major international crimes. This particular lawsuit was triggered by the illegal detainment of two Japanese citizens, Akihiko Yamaguchi and Mitsuyoshi Watanabe as well as the seizure of $134.5 billion in bonds they were holding in Italy on June 3, 2009. After the bonds were stolen, self-described 33rd degree Freemason Leo Zagami contacted this writer and said the Monte Carlo P2 Masonic Lodge could cash the bonds with the help of Vatican banker Daniel Dal Bosco. This writer forwarded the information, via a member of the UK royal family, to the Dragon family who entrusted a further $1 trillion worth of similar bonds to the plaintiff Neil Keenan. Keenan then, after much negotiation, entrusted the bonds to Dal Bosco. Dal Bosco subsequently absconded with the bonds and was followed 24 hours a day by various intelligence service agents to see what he would do with them. The Dal Bosco trail led to the Davos World Forum, the UN, the Italian government, and the Vatican among other places. Following this, Keenan was approached by a who's who of powerful figures including top Vatican officials, Wall Street bankers, European nobles and former the United States presidents, most offering him astronomical bribes to go away. He was also poisoned with ricin and nearly killed. According to Keenan the roots of this case go back to between 1927 and 1938, when under arrangements made between T.V. Soong, Finance Minister of China, and Henry Morgenthau, Secretary of the Treasury, the United States government purchased some 50 million ounces of silver and leased vast amounts of gold from the nationalist Chinese government, known as Kuomintang. For all the treasure handed in, certificates were given to those who surrendered their precious metals. Many of the bonds seized by Dal Bosco are backed with the Chinese gold taken by the Federal Reserve Board during those years and never returned to its legal owners. Other bonds seized were Kennedy bonds. These bonds were backed by gold held in trust for the people of the planet and were supposed to be used to finance the economic development of the world. Instead they have mostly been stolen and misused by members of the cabal that has seized control of the Western financial system on behalf of private interests. The original signatory to the Kennedy bonds was former Indonesian President Soekarno. Soekarno's heir Dr. Sino Edi Sokanto has given Keenan power of attorney to return their rightful owners the Kennedy bonds and other property allocated to the people of the world via something known as the Global Collateral Accounts. The lawsuit is only the first salvo in a legal battle to restore control of the global financial system to the people and governments of the world as well as the rightful owners of historical assets that have been seized by members of the banking cartel. The lawsuit has been filed as Civil Action No. 8500 at the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York on November 23, 2011 Background Information on the Problems with the Global Financial System by Neil Keenan and Keith Scott The Entire Cause of the Problem 
the United States is a private corporation owned by the British Crown, Rothschilds, the Bank of England, Rothschilds, and the Vatican, Rothschilds again. It was previously called the Virginia Company until March 933 when it was dissolved by Roosevelt under the Emergency Banking Act. On May 5, 33, Congress elected to dissolve the gold standard and sovereign authority of the, the United States and all of its official capacities including government offices, departments and officers. The, the United States is a corporation, not a nation. The Federal Reserve is neither federal, nor a reserve. It is a private counterfeiting organization run by Jewish bankers who lend the money they print out of thin air at interest while we keep on paying these criminals to fleece the people. That technology of theft and deception that has been exported from the United States through their promotion of this fraud as the paradigm of global finance is an obscenity that has set the seeds of its own destruction. This has been compounded by the refusal of ordinary people to realize know and understand that it is the duplicity of governments and the deceit and endless greed of bankers that combine to simply fleece them like the apathetic sheep they are. Apathy and ignorance of the truth creates belief in the lie. The truth is self-evident, but most people choose to neither hear it nor understand it. The debts of the Federal Reserve are the debts of a private corporation that is robbing the people of the United States. The United States dollar is a Federal Reserve note and the obligations against the currency are the obligations of the Federal Reserve, not the people of the United States. Understanding the History 1 Between 1927 and 1938, under arrangements made between T.V. Soong, Finance Minister of China, and Henry Morgenthau, Secretary of the Treasury, the United States government purchased some 50 million ounces of silver and leased vast amounts of gold from the nationalist Chinese government, known as Kuomintang. During this period China was partly occupied by Japanese troops and there was the fear of China being overrun by the Japanese too. For all the treasure handed in, certificates were given to those who surrendered their precious metals. The surrendered precious metals and gemstones were sent to the United States under a lease agreement made between T.V. Soong and Henry Morgenthau. The certificates became the underlying funds of the Kuomintang and were good and accepted securities 3. In 1934 new Securities Act was promulgated in the United States, together with the Gold Act, which required all bullion gold and gold coin to be surrendered to the Federal Reserve a private corporation chartered to operate as the central bank of the United States and to be the issuer of the currency known as the United States dollar for. Domestically owned gold was purchased. Foreign gold held by the Treasury was also a surrender to the Federal Reserve, so, was leased to the Federal Reserve. This began the series 1934 notes issued by the Federal Reserve. These have never been redeemed and the interest cost was met by further issuances of the 1934 series FRNs 5. These 1934 FRNs guarantee the lease payments and to allow the Chinese government to continue financially. These came under the control of the Kuomintang, the nationalist government in China from whom the gold had been received. Many were left in China when the Kuomintang had to flee to Taiwan. The gold had been nationalized by the Kuomintang who moved much of the FRNs, but not all, to Taiwan which was built on these notes. These notes were the underlying wealth of Taiwan and they were good for value as they were backed by gold 6. During the war in China, most owners of the depository notes issued by Chinese banks were killed by the Japanese, others later being killed by both the Kuomintang and the Chinese communists. Thus the gold became property of the nation, especially so, the Kuomintang. In Europe, Jews who had owned wealth were stripped of that wealth through various means and were then eliminated. The gold was taken either by stealth or by force, that is a reality of History 7. The Kuomintang appointed guardians of this gold and the securities issued by the United States. They are euphemistically known as the Dragon Family. 
The Dragon Family is in fact an organization that operates between old families within China and Taiwan, and as such is above the political divide of the two independent Chinese governments. Chinese are remarkable in this regard, that old family ties and functions supersede political arrangements which, though they might last for generations, are regarded as inconsequential over the passage of time to most Chinese. Attached to this is the wealth of several nations. The United States in support of the Kuomintang and resistance groups actually printed more of these FRN notes inside China itself. These operations were run by the CIA to buy loyalty of various factions in the fight against the communists.